This is Bill Max Fox Packs, and today I'm going to play a free online computer puzzle game. A fair number of you enjoyed the Code Breaker video, so this will be the same kind of thing, just a screen capture. Uh, but today I'll be playing Sokoban, which is a maze, labyrinth kind of a game. Uh, I'll put the link in the description in case you want to try it out for yourself. Okay, the gist of it is, like I said, this is a maze, labyrinth game. And the object is to push the various boxes into targeted locations. You are the little green guy here, and the boxes are these little boxes here, and the targets are these white tiles there as opposed to the regular, I guess you would call it a floor surface. And the key is that the walls present obstacles and you can only push the boxes, cannot pull. So for example, if you push that guy into the corner, well, he's stuck. You can never get behind him to push him in any other place. So, bad idea. Let's restart. So, I think that's about it, really. You're just pushing boxes. Remember, only pushing into the targeted squares. Uh, another aspect of the game is once you've figured out how to get them all into their targeted spots, is to do it in the shortest number of moves, the most efficient path, as it were. Um, I'm not necessarily so great at that second part. I can usually figure out how to get them there. Maybe not just in the shortest number of moves. And you'll see here, this will tell you, well, what everybody else has been able to do as far as the best, as it were. So I picked this first puzzle because it kind of is straightforward and easy. And it illustrates some of the kind of obstacles you need to overcome in order to achieve your objective. So, let's just begin, shall we? We've already decided that we don't want to push that first block immediately to the right, because you know, it locks him up. So, clearly we want to go this way. So, this first box, pretty straightforward, get up behind him, push, hey, and you'll see how the box kind of changed so it has a little blue square shaped blotch. That means it's in a targeted square. Uh, maybe not his final spot. We'll see how that goes later, but maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, oops, let's back up. I'm getting ahead of myself just so you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, the puzzle here does let you move forward and back through your play, so Anyway, you'll figure out the interface if you try to play it yourself. It's pretty straightforward. In any case, this guy here, clearly I want to push him into that spot there. In order to do that, though, I have to get on the other side of him to push him that way. Well, it's pretty straightforward. Just push him out of the way, get around him, and then push him into place. Pretty straightforward see how this is going to be the same kind of thing. Just get around him, push him into place. Push him out of the way, get around him, push him into place. This next one is also fairly straightforward. Actually, this whole puzzle is fairly straightforward. 
push him to there, go around the obstacle, get on the other side, push him into place. As you can see, the sun is pretty straightforward. Bada bing, we've solved it. And you'll see that, well, did it in 93 moves, which matches the best results. Not terribly surprising, as this is a fairly, well, straightforward, easy puzzle, as it were. But it gives you an idea as to how it works. So I thought I would do a few of these. Uh, let's see, I wanted to do a couple that I'd already solved, just to kind of show you what's up. And then maybe I'll try and find one that I haven't solved, and I can sort of talk through my thought processes. There was one that I thought was kind of neat. Do, 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 do. This one. <coughs> yeah, this one's kind of interesting. I know I've solved it, clearly. I've done it in 67 moves. A far cry from other people's more efficient path. But I seem to remember that there's a trick to getting more efficient with this, but it is solvable that's in a pretty straightforward fashion. Let's see if I can do this here. I can't, this is gonna work out fine. There we go, we solved it. Well, uh, odd 76 moves, so. to 67. I think, if I remember, do, 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 do. I think, if I remember, this is what you want to do, is you want to set this up. See what's going to happen here is I'm going to push him into place and then him down. So it's kind of in one move. So you're kind of increasing your efficiency if I'm thinking of this correctly. So let's, I believe that's the trick, or at least the trick that I got to my shaving off a few moves, as it were. See if I'm right here. Oops. Well, I just screwed it by having to do that little backwards thing. Oh, there we go, 67. So. That's the best I can do. Well, apparently. But you get the idea. The order in which you move them in and, or, you know, if you can kind of push them to their target 
of gold in an organized fashion. You can become more efficient and shave off those moves if you want to try and get to a better score. Okay, let's stop this now, I think, because I'm running out of time on the screen capture thing, and we'll restart with another puzzle momentarily. Okay, so let's find another puzzle, shall we? Um, let's go to here. Do, 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 do. There we go. Classic. Some of these that are pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, let's pick. I'm pretty sure I've done this one. Yeah, this one's kind of nifty. Well, in any case, I suppose they're all nifty. This one you can see. We want to get all of these guys up into here. that there's just a lot of little boxes to move so you don't want to move one to a place that inadvertently locks you up or you know i.e. don't push boxes up against the wall so you can't get behind them um etc well we'll see let's just go through it this one's pretty straightforward if i remember so Obviously, we want to get out of here. Yeah, let's just put that guy there for the moment. <coughs> Going up. So, since we have so many boxes to move, my strategy anyway is to start up in this area, clear it out, and get this one cleared out. Well, we'll see as it goes along. Maybe not clear it completely, but I think you'll get the gist of it here. So here, we want to be careful how we move so that we don't, again, block ourselves up. Da -da -da -da. So, let's move this guy here. Let's just get the first one in here. Let's see, once you kind of get it going, it's really just a matter of moving boxes around. I think, if memory serves me correctly, that this game is, I think, Sokoban. I think the name actually comes from Japan and has something to do with a warehouseman or something like that. I might be wrong, but hmm, maybe somebody will Google that. And Sorry today, I'm just not interested in looking it up. Da -da 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 -da. So... boxes <laughs> now you can see here we're gonna have to do something with those guys that are against the wall because we can't as they sit get behind them we'll get to them in just a sec let's just move these ones out of the way oops so clearly if you want a good score you don't want to have extraneous moves like that. But, you know, to 
be honest, I'm not all that gung-ho about getting the best score. I mean, sometimes I'll try and shave off moves, but... Oh, let me back up here. So you, should, you don't want to do that. You don't want to backtrack. That's just adding moves to your score. In any case, see, these guys... I need to move someplace else in order to get behind him. So, if you'll remember the very first one, where you kind of pushed him into the room to get behind him, we're going to want to do that. But, there's a bunch of other boxes in our way here, so how about we clear these out first. So, again, there's probably a more efficient order to choosing which box you do first, etc., that will yield a better score, but you know, I kind of just have fun pushing boxes around. save those two there because they're not in my way at the moment and I want to I think you'll see what I what I have planned just I don't know let's just see let's move this guy in here a lot of just on some of these bigger puzzles. Oops, let's get this guy while we can. That's another thing I tend to do. I don't know if it's the most efficient thing, but a lot of times I'll just see, yeah, there's nothing in my way. Let's just go ahead and move this box. And I'm pretty sure that there's a methodology that includes sort of staging your boxes, you know, doing them in a particular order so that there's an efficiency of motion, but I tend to be too impatient to try to figure those things out. I'm happy enough just to solve the basic part of the puzzle of getting them where they need to go, which is probably why I don't have a lot of high scores, but nonetheless. It's a fun game. Okay, so... Now, let's go get this... Oops, let's get this guy. Push him all the way through the whole labyrinth, as it were. This is going to sound. I'm recording this two ways simultaneously using my headset and the screen capture thing, which lets me record 15 minutes at a time. That's the sort of start and stop thing. And I'm also recording using my digital voice memo recorder with a microphone set up to record 
keyboard sounds, because I know a lot of you guys like the keyboard noises. So hopefully I can sync the audio between the two up so that you can hear my voice without too much wacky delay from the two different audio sources and the keyboard noises. I don't know, we'll see. Obviously if I've posted the video it worked at least to some degree. Alright, now here, let's do this. See, this is one of those things where, well, I gotta move that guy there, and I gotta move that guy there, so let's just... That's one of those efficiency tricks, although I'm not sure why I bothered, because I'm so inefficient through the rest of the puzzle. What's one or two moves here or there, right? Okay, now here's the deal. So what you do with all of these guys is push them into this room and get behind them and push them through. Oh, you know what? I could have got that guy anytime. Oh well. You'll see what I mean in a second. This guy here, I didn't need to save him. We could have done him. There's nothing in his way. His way, like these boxes have a sex or a gender. Interesting. What does that say? Am I a male chauvinist? I don't know. Okay. Okay, this guy. Push him into there. Get behind him. So we've got that. Okay, that's according to my timer thing here. That's 12 minutes. Let's go ahead and stop the screen capture and restart it. And then I'll, I think what I'll do is find one that I haven't solved. And that way I can walk through my thought process from the scratch, from start to finish, etc. And hopefully I won't be too feeble-minded more embarrassing. In any case, so back in just a sec. Take two, hopefully without garbage trucks driving up and down the street and some guy living upstairs for me banging on something with a hanger. Alright, so I picked this level because I haven't solved it yet. I started to try to look at it. Well, as just mentioned, at, well, a while ago, and then noise started happening. Uh, that's what happens when you live in San Francisco. Okay, so now, let's see if I can go back through what I was talking about before I had to restart this. Okay, a new level. The first thing I'd like to do is first off look at the target bits here. Make sure there's nothing hinky about filling them in, and it looks like, well, everybody's going to have to come through this gap and get put into their final tiles there. Looks like this column obviously gets filled in first, and then when they come in, do -do 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 there, well, to get moved, they have to get pushed to that spot, at least minimally, right? Here, I'll show you what I mean, right? So the guy, green guy, pushes a guy in to be able to move him. He's going to have to push all the way to there, and then kind of around like that. Uh, okay, so looks like this column, then these two guys, and then finish up by filling in those. Okay, so there's that. Now, these guys are all on this wall, so they have to get moved into here to get pushed around. Hmm, okay. I see how this is going to go. I'll do this just to show you what I mean. I push this guy in here, then bingo. Hmm. If I do that, 
side that locks those up. As you can see, I can't separate them anymore. Yippee-yay-yay. And this guy is now against this wall, which means he's going to have to go through here into this chamber so I can get around him to push him back through, etc. But there's a whole lot of stuff. Looks like, you know, it looks like there's a lot of space in this chamber. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking... These guys come through here. These two guys have to get out of the way, but I have to clear out space for them. Now there's too many boxes in here. Okay, I'm thinking, let's do this. This is probably not the most efficient, but let's just see what we can manage. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just move everything as far away as possible in order sort of moving stuff out of my way to them. Okay, so which one of these guys do I want to do first? Right, I think let's push this guy up to here for a minute. This guy can go all the way down to there, and he's out of the way because I can still get behind him. Okay. Let's. Hmm, I hope I don't lock that up by pushing that one guy all the way up there. Let's see. Push this guy. this guy down here. Let's see how this works now. Taking the 
this guy first. something with this guy. I think I need more room here still. I can do it. I can push this guy in. figured out yet. This guy can now go in. Have we got a thing going on here now? I think so. Let's see. I think we may have <coughs> some stuff. actually pretty enjoyable. So I guess there's some virtue to cyber boxes that is different than real boxes. I suppose it just goes to show you it's all in your attitude. In any case. Hmm. I think we may have figured this one out. Let's 
pause here because I'm running out of time on the screen capture thing. So give me a quick sec. Let's Okay, let's see. Where were we at here? Moving boxes, UPIA. Okay. think what I want to do now is do these guys down here. Yeah, this seems like this is going to work. I don't think I've locked anybody up. some of you have pointed out the noisy nature of my headset and I apologize for that but it's the most effective way for me to do things with the screen capture and I wanted to get the keyboard noises so the only other microphone I have is being used for, I don't know we'll see my big concern is whether or not it, uh, well, I don't know how difficult it will be to sync up the audio between the two. So we'll give that a go. Hopefully it will sound interesting. You guys will obviously let me know whether it's groovy or not. You know, I think I tend to like puzzle games. I'm gonna, well, I don't own a game console, so I don't really play the action games or the role play games. I mean, I have played them. Uh, my nieces and my nephew are huge fans of those, and there's a couple of those things that they play that. as a group and I've been over to their house and they said Uncle Bill play the game with us and I've done that but I don't have much of an aptitude for them and you know I just don't get into them I like these weird little puzzle games best I guess it appeals to the I just noticed I've got a link to Klotsky, 
which is another game I like to play a lot, but I may do a video in the future on that. Um, I don't know, we'll see. That's because I'm not very good at that game, so it'll depend on how silly I'm willing to be as far as revealing my ineptitude at the game. But I don't know, maybe. Okay, this is looking like it's going to finish up pretty quick. Some of you guys will try this game out for yourself. It's pretty groovy. There's a lot of games, or a lot of different individual puzzles and labyrinths to choose from. Uh, I haven't done it, but there's apparently a means of using this so you could make up your own puzzles, etc. In any case, there we go. Completed it only. 1,255 moves, and, well, I guess it's not too far off, at least the worst end of the best results, so, in any case, I'm happy enough just to have solved the, the basic part of the puzzle, so I hope you guys found this relaxing and enjoyable, if you were able to pay attention the whole time. I hope it was interesting, maybe instructive on some level. And if you just zoned out or went to sleep, uh, pleasant dreams. As always, thanks for your continued support. Uh, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. I hope this was a good one for you. And until next time, stay relaxed. And